Wagner Group and other Russian private military companies are in conflict in Bakhmut. Experts from the US-based Institute for the Study of War, ISW, have indicated that competition between Russian private military companies is growing in the battles for Bakhmut. The report noted that competition between Russian private military companies in Bakhmut is probably growing. As an example of this, analysts cite the fact that in a video message to Russian President Vladimir Putin, soldiers of Potok claimed that Gazprom officials told Potok members that they will sign contracts with the Russian Defense Ministry, but then they were forced to sign contracts with Redut, private military company. Potok is one of the three volunteer units funded by the Russian state energy company Gazprom. One of the Potok fighters claimed that Gazprom has created two more units, Varkel and Plamya, subordinated to the Russian Defense Ministry. The report also indicated that Potok reported mistreatment by Wagner fighters who threatened to shoot Potok fighters if they moved away from the contact line. Various sources reported that Potok fighters left their positions in Bakhmut. The reason for this was the lack of ammunition. According to the ISW, Wagner's financier Yevgeny Prigozhin likely sees the increase in the number of private military companies around Bakhmut as competition and it appears that the increased presence of other private military formations in the Bakhmut area could lead to significant disagreements. Also, according to the collected information, the report noted that Russia appears to be continuing a targeted depopulation campaign in the occupied territories of Ukraine in order to facilitate the settlement of Ukrainian territories by Russians.